and then they give you these cybernetic combat limbs. It's all about the cyber limbs. That's what makes this whole operation unique. Then they give you a load of guns and set you loose. <laughs> to go out and slaughter all your opponents. These people are just regular folks who have opted into total madness. How much worse is this going to get? They're now using paid mercenaries to act as the NPCs on the island. These, these guys will shoot you. And then they bring you back from the dead. They can literally resuscitate soldiers from death. Even extreme fatalities. They can regrow the patient from base tissue. Okay, well, this is our floating surgical ship. It's where we bring our fallen players. I got no arms. Check it out. I got no legs. We need to get them there as quickly as we can, and then within a couple of days, they're out playing again. As you can see, we've only walked away for a minute, and there is significant progress. I just think we need to raise the stakes more. Nah, it's good to go. It looks cool. Let's get it out on the island. We have story-driven missions in the middle of the Battle Royale. What the fuck am I watching here? Are you really going to say nothing in defense of this despicable island of depravity that you are personally responsible for? What the... Oh, my God, am I going insane? What's going on in the world? I fucking love this shit. <laughs> Welcome to the world first. Real Battle Royale! You think you're tough? Sign up. Come on down to the island. Come test yourself for real. <laughs> Welcome to Teardrop. I am Master Sergeant Cobra. I have the unenviable task of guiding you regurgitated cum bubbles through your first real life battle royale. The game mode you're about to play is called Extraction Royale. This mode pits teams of three players against each other in a hybrid of battle royale and extraction shooter. All players must sign this indemnity. You'll we'll be getting rid of your arms and legs. You get to choose your cyber loot. You could buy him, win him as loot, or shoot a player, take his arms and legs. Once you get on the ground, you'll want to quickly find supply crates scattered around Teardrop. Loot them and gear up quick as other teams could be around the corners. While you're trying not to die out there and embarrass yourself in front of your friends and family, you're going to want to find one of these. It's called a hex, and it's the most valuable thing on this whole godforsaken island. It can contain cyber limbs, guns, money, or skins. You can trade with this for real. You gotta ship it off the fucking island before you get shot in the head. OTG Armory has the best guns on planet Earth. Do not try to sneak one back to the mainland and shoot up a bunch of people. If you die in battle and revival isn't an option, you will respawn after a countdown. This will happen for as long as a member of your team is still alive.
ground just a stone's throw from what locals are saying is a secret U.S. military testing site. Here, outside the laws of the United States itself, American Special Forces commanders are testing the durability of soldiers augmented with cybernetic limbs. The striking allegations made last year are being taken more seriously since imagery leaked last month it confirms that the U.S. fighters do appear to be enhanced with robotic arms and legs. Let's enemy zero sided. Forget about it. Enemy down. Let's move there. Forget it. Let's move. Enemy spotted!